link in the description for the non-timer version of this video. Or if you would like, you can pull up your copy of Ruby Volume 7, Episode 3. Ace operatives and press play on it when I press play when the timer reaches zero. I like to imagine that Ace Operatives is just a team of gamblers with a serious problem. And they're going to be taking on Team Ruby. And no, it's not just the Royal Flush Gang. It's a totally different card game based supervillain group. Maybe that's my issue. Maybe the intro's mu- the, the, the actual, uh, lyrics are too low energy compared to the, uh, opening of the song. Still good, it just gets the wrong feeling going. Ooh, people throwing rocks at Ironwood. <laughs> it, it, this season kind of looks like Ruby's trying to pull off more of a femme fatale type look. <laughs> Which is way better than what we were having before. Yeah, it's these guys are the ace operatives. Yep. Cool. More than I anticipated, I am going to be disappointed if not one of these girls was like, I want it to have a shark with a freaking laser beam on its head. <laughs> <laughs> Start of the timer at two twenty one in three, two, one, go. Big guy. <laughs> okay. With new clothes, it's a big deal. I thought I was the only one getting a cool new outfit! <laughs> I, I, I'm not really a big fan of how they glossed over the haircuts. The outfit's whatever, but the haircuts is like... A bit of a bigger change for them. Uh, just... <laughs> Wow. Good God. Ruby, you don't look like a dumbass anymore. <laughs> it 
took a while. <laughs> uh, Yang got downgraded. Her previous outfit was pretty damn awesome. As for you two, I have not decided yet. I was taking center stage. They have a lot going for them. Honestly, I'm leaning towards not liking Weiss's, but just how different it is. Maybe. <laughs> nice. Starting the timer at 3 33 and 3 2 1 go. <laughs> I love that. Now is not the time to slip. Oh, that was a... That Honestly, that might have been mo the most creative use of power there. Oh no, these guys are bad guys, aren't they? Hey! <laughs> I guess that's the one sad factor of this season is it's back to this is the A team and this is the B team. <laughs> uh, maybe it won't end up being like that, but I don't know. Even now, uh, Nora, John, and Ren are just much substantially less involved as characters as the other four. Starting the timer at 4, 43, and 3, 2, 1, go. Despite them being awesome. <laughs> Cool. Ah. <laughs> so we're going straight on with the sort of flirting. God, what do they call, uh, the ship for, uh, Blake and, uh, Yang, good God, it's only been seven volumes. <laughs> it's Bumblebee, Bumblebee. Yes, I'm down, set sail. Starting the timer at 5.50. If I can type right. In 3, 2, 1, go. Wait, okay. I missed a line, apparently. Starting the timer at 5.42. In 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, the lie. Ah. 
I like that the Yang is consistent here. Ooh, they did talk about it. Did something shift? Did something... I, I kind of like that it's... Yang is too extreme for the trust everybody. Ozpin is obviously too extreme for the keeping secrets nonsense. So, obviously, I like the whatever Ruby's going for now. That was sort of a more middle-of-the-ground wait-and-see approach. But did something happen that shifted her perspective in particular? Because it would be nice if someone could point to something in Volume 6 or Volume 5. Uh, some event. It would have been Volume 6. Uh, that changed her view untrust a smidge. I might be being stupid about what it would have been, but I don't re really recall anything like that. It's fine if it's just her characterization in general, but I would have liked it more if there was that build-up, you know, where it's just like, wait a minute, maybe. Yeah. Both Yang and, uh, Aspen uh, are extreme to the point of causing problems, <laughs> uh, in my opinion. Starting the timer at 6.39. In three, two, one, go. Are we finally going to get to see Summer Rose? <laughs> Not used to working in wintry environments. Sorry I'm pausing so much. John and Ren, their outfit changes are whatever to me. I kind of like John's hair. I think it brings it together. Uh, I just, uh, he kind of looks more, <laughs> uh, he looks closer to how you'd imagine, like, a Gaston type figure to be just, you know, excessively, they're, they're going for that handsome look now. Uh, <laughs> but Nora. I think she's my new favorite design. Her and Ruby are winning this season. This volume. Uh, Weiss is the biggest loser. <laughs> um, Yang still looks awesome. It's And Blake looks cool, but... <laughs> Ruby had a major comeback on the character design front, and Nora... Maybe it's like the Kingdom Hearts vibes I'm getting out of it with the, those little, uh, well, whatever you'd call the overcoat thing. Uh, but, and it even looks like she's got a keyblade back here. <laughs> nah, it's, it, the color, the color scheme is what's bringing it together. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, Re yeah, Ren and John are their 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 design changes are they they're good. There's nothing wrong. <laughs> no wow factor though. A little disappointed that Nora didn't change her hair though, or at least didn't change it much. I'm gonna put them side by side.
Yeah, I didn't really comment much on Nora's previous outfit. I just didn't really have anything to say, but... Yeah, the, uh, the heart through the, uh, thing, which, yeah, it looked cool, but... Kind of remind me of, uh... Power Girls, not an not an existent logo. Oh, well, she did cut her hair some. A little. Oh, incidentally, it turns out that there is a. Uh, Comic book or a manga? One of those fancy doohickeys, I think a manga. Called Nora, The Last Chronicle of Devildom. And it has a fifth volume. So when I googled Nora Volume 5, that's what I saw first. And I was like, hmm? That doesn't look anything like her! I would have remembered that big of a design change! <laughs> oh... We press onward! Starting the timer at... Let's say 7.09. In 3, 2, 1, go. Ha! What? Compliment her back! Monster! There you go, John. Nora! I feel you. I, you're not really what you were looking for. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nora. I think it's the best. I'm on, I'm on your team. I, I think Ren should have said something, too. I think you're officially dating. There's not a whole lot of time for romance in this show. So it's unclear at times. All right, starting the timer at seven twenty two and three two one go <laughs> yeah. Oh, that one. Yeah, we saw the a flashback, didn't we? Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh. Uh. What's that in the middle? Oh, it's just a poster. Ah! I was like leaning in too. I was like, what's the posters? Ah! <laughs> the Grim Reap not nah, the Grim Reaper is a taken name in this world. The Poltergeist Grim. Ooh, are we gonna get to see their weapons in action? Not really sure what, uh, he did to Yang. Oh, he just gave her a gauntlet. Cool. No, sure, he had a gauntlet. Oh! Oh! Hello! I like it. Okay.
I don't think there were any major changes for Ruby's, but hers is kind of the most kick-ass inherently anyway. Ooh. Ooh. Was that time manipulation, sort of? Kind of like the, uh, 60-second invincibility girl? Which isn't really time manipulation at all. Never mind, that was dumb. Cool. Cool. <laughs> you guys just can't catch a break today. Like yours. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, her semblance works a little different. <laughs> oh, I can't deny you guys this. <laughs> joy, joy, happy joy. But yeah, the, the uh, Ruby semblance, uh, while it is speed, it, it seems to work inherently different than just modifying her movement speed. Hmm. Starting the timer at 11.11. 11. In three, two, one, go. Oh! This really does feel like a Zelda boss. <laughs> yeah! He didn't even look like he was doing anything. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'm reaching here. Those are just about... The biggest doe eyes I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, I'm not crazy, right? Like, like, look, it's it, it, it's there. It is. <laughs> Did a new ship just just uh get built? Wait a second. Wait a second. Team Horseshoe. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, no jinxes with you two around, huh? Starting the timer at 12:35. In three, two, one, go. <laughs> By God, it's graffiti! The greatest evil. <laughs> uh. 
The target is... Li this is literally a Zelda boss! That- you know, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Like, oh, there's nobody in here! Wait! Had a Zelda boss-style cutscene where he came together. I swear, if the way to take this thing on is to hit it in the eye. And it takes three t three times. They're either building these guys up so much because they're bad guys, or they're gonna get killed easy. Is everyone a parallel? I'm almost a... Hmm. What are the other three semblance? What was it? Wasn't made as bluntly obvious. Stream strength. Yeah, the, the you know, I don't know her name, but the other one who, uh, was focused on, you know, punching, you know, close-up combat. Super speed lady. Is anyone like that? I guess Weiss kind of is, uh... Yeah, nowhere... This guy, that unless I'm missing it, not really a parallel to, uh, any of our main group. Because I was thinking, wait a second, are we just establishing that everyone's basically... You know, a mirror of our ma of our of our characters because oh no, because what it's they're setting it up so this is basically the better, more experienced version of our team, and they're gonna die, which might still be the case. I mean, like two out of five ain't bad, and this guy maybe he's got something I'm not realizing. Bonus? Nah. All right, you got the weird aura arms. Not really John, but you, maybe. Actually, that is more Weiss. Constructs. Creepy looking eyes. It all fits. Let's start the timer at some point. We'll go for 1402. In three, two, one, go. Nice. Well, they may kick ass, but get in there, kids! Woohoo! Ooh, taking on the Grim Golem head on. <laughs> Just uppercutted a ghost. I know it's not. Nice.
If they are bad, oh, I had to get one, huh? Nice. Nice. If they are bad guys, I can only imagine. Eh? Okay. <laughs> if they are bad guys, I struggle to think that all this isn't, like, some kind of staged thing. I just can't figure out why you'd stage this. Hello again. Got some protesting to do? There's some real bad guys right behind you. <laughs> oh no, because they kind of look similar. Can he use that to alter his personality, take control of his mind somehow? I mean, he could just be killing him, but it. Nah, I don't think he, he. I get that he's crazy, but I don't really think he's been shown to operate without reason to that degree. That was a great episode. That was an excellent episode. A plus. So is he like some kind of a uh, coyote? Because the ear is kind of folded in upwards. Or a hyena, maybe. I love this. The art. Ruby has really only gotten better. Yeah, well, there are, it's not not to say that there's not like individual volumes that I hold closer. Volume six and volume three are the winners, but in terms of just the overall quality of everything, and I'm not just talking about the animation. If it was just the animation, cool, but everything feels tighter. Like they just they just have more of a experience uh, on their team. You know, they have a they're more seasoned veterans now, and I love it. Next time. 